Back at the council, we have finished the upper stage where Lord Mortimer has his office and where this little bit suspicious Spartan hole is there, which has no bottom, which is even more suspicious. So let's go downstairs. We have to find the murder of Elizabeth. Why is there a tissue on the ground? This is suspicious. I need to search everything. Maybe the murder left it there. Or the ser the servant. It's not cleaned. They will use glasses. No servant picks it up. The servant is the murderer. Case closed. Hmm. Let's see. We are now able to search all the rooms of all the other guests. Which will be exactly what we will do. Oh, loading pause. So, let's go around and go room by room. See what we have here. Are these sausages or biscuits? Uh, this sounds, looks really strange. Actually, what I think these are towels, you see? This is used one. These are small towels to, or napkins maybe, larger napkins or small towels, so you can clean your fingers from the food, since they are all rich and all very picky about their exterior so sorry I think you can't bite in that you may try but be prepared don't think it will taste good so this is the room so Jacques Peru. of Jacques Peru. then let us see what Mr. Jacques Peru. oh he is in there what do you want from me de Richet? greetings it's fallen to me cut that the crap Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Hmm. Okay, let's try. I will from now on do the costly ones with the water and the cheaper ones with the um with the with the with the trinkets here down. I don't know what they are. remember are. Uh, Edge jellies, jellies here. Yeah. It's never too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. You don't understand. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No. You don't. He's bought Someone uses him and he plays along. Maybe he's pressurized. Collect the coin. Thank you. A pattern with four circles. <laughs> oh, I locked. <laughs> okay. We're just right next to him, but doesn't matter. We just pick lock. Cool. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. <laughs> I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. I have no space left. I have no space left. Dear Monsieur Peru, okay. I have no space left. So he is I'll financing the the orphanage. So maybe Holmes is the man behind the murder. The Massacre of the Innocents by Rubens. A bit gloomy. Guess my room is not that bad. <laughs> uh, you have also some very, very 
strange images. Great, honey. Jelly. Quick. And getting more and more traits, which is good. We can't go outside. So that's so for so much for uh, we can go everywhere. The massacre of the innocents, but by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. Maybe. <laughs> what did he try to burn? What is the Okay, we are we are investigating a murder case. And one of the most suspicious persons has a paper in his fireplace. And we are not able to look at this paper. How stupid is this character? Okay, no text over. I don't know if we shall meet again. At this point in time, I am a prisoner snared by my own decisions. You must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who I thought I could master. I thought I knew the monsters, but what I did for France is nothing compared to what they are com capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jaws are closing upon me. I love you now, now and forever. Okay, he's writing a letter. So he's really under some pressure, I would say. Mind games, could this be a hint to the next riddle? The Massacre of the Innocents, but by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. So there are two different versions of the same image. Let's check out this one again. The Massacre of the Innocents by Rubens. A bit gloomy. Mm -hmm. Guess my room is not that bad. Massacre of the Innocents and... Uh, in his room is this image twice. So maybe this is... Could this just be a hint that he's innocent? Is this all maybe just a test? Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Hmm, discover mobile Jack Pill with psychology. About this we already knew. Damn it. Okay, golden elixir. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Lord William Mortimer. Now well, Lord Mortimer has also invited him to this island. Because he wants to talk about France. So, is there anything else? Here. Okay. okay. There's a man with a knife attacking a woman. This is not suspicious at all. And there he's killing her. Hmm. Obviously, we are a vampire. Good to know. We can't go outside here. So, there's not really a lot going on just in this room. So, maybe we have to talk to him again about something. Or first find out... What's this, actually? Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. Okay. All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Oh, yes. Ah, do you enjoy hitting women? Whoa. <laughs> uh, let me check what his weaknesses are again. Journal. Peru, Jack Peru. No, no. It is psychology is his vulnerability and he's one more thing. So I try this. 
Oh, he's immune against this. Okay. So we don't do that. Then we take this one and this. Two days ago, I surprised you having a go at Miss Adams. What happened? Did you want to give her another beating? She wouldn't let you push her around again, huh? Shut up, you little shit! You have no idea what happened, and here you are, carping away. You think you're investigator of the year. Have you taken a look at yourself, Dorishe? Didn't you get enough beating her black and blue the last time? I did not! Don't let him off. Why? Nothing. Get away from me. Just as soon as you stop treating me like I'm an idiot. If you wanted people to think you were guilty, you couldn't have done any better. So cut the bullshit and come clean now. I can't! He'll come for revenge. Who? No one! Just shut your trap, goddammit! Yes, I was there. Yes, I walked in her blood. You've got all you need to wrap it up. Now scram. Okay. He is used as a victim. By who? This is now the next question. Who is pressurizing or using him? You shouldn't have putting on one about. I assume Lord Holmes. No. Because Lord Holmes was the one who uh, was claiming um, the fame for the re rebuilt orphanage. And Jacques was the one who was actually giving the money. So, forwarding the money. So maybe Lord Holmes has some pressure on Jacques. Yeah, right. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? Because to stimulate his future? Honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. Honey. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> he has delusions of grandeur. Yeah, Jack, I would like to see myself, but unfortunately I'm a vampire and I don't have a reflection. Oh. Monsieur Bonaparte. Monsieur Bonjour. de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Question him over last night. He was seen rocking around Elizabeth's room. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste. And I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. Oh, I've been studying him for a while now. And I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. Must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. With whom did anyone leave early? If something happened out to the ordinary. Hmm. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Hmm. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. 
Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. I guess there's not much playing anymore. Okay. Well, have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. I think he's innocent, but he also gave us a fake story. Because it was not true that the manor was silent. So maybe he's also kind of used by someone. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. I'm curious if any of this is really true, if they use the real French history, but I'm not that knowledge in that, so maybe the parents were hunted, but I'm not sure. It's a beautiful weapon, Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Discovered immunity, Napoleon Bonaparte, questioning. Okay, good. A bicorn decorated with a cockade, it must belong to a French soldier. Okay, we already knew that because we have been here in this room. So there are only some new spots for us. His room was one of the few which were open. Person Gatterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. But we need to look at everything again, because maybe we find new hints. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. And we all know who this leader became. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. So where is his pistol? Maybe we can ask him that later. This was new information at least. And still there's nothing behind this wall. Damn it. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Hmm. But here's no information. Damn it. There's a case, maybe something in there. Nope. And still this empty frame. So let's see. Can you tell us where your pistol is, Monsieur Bonaparte? Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Question him over last night. Well, have we finished, Monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Yes, Caroline. She was stabbed with a knife. That's true. Uh, but still, I would like to know where the pistol went. So, but we haven't been there yet, so we only heard about that she was stabbed. Maybe this is also false, or maybe someone is trying to hide something. Okay, let's check the corners. Good, collect a coin. So we still need to go to the to her death place and see has anyone been shot yet no not yet only um 
We saw in the beginning a vision of our mother where she shot um, Emily, the lady in the black. Like, I can show her. Uh, Emily. Like, our mother shot her in a vision. But I'm not really sure if this still happens or whatever. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh, fitting. Obviously, Emily is still alive, so. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. Because she has something for the orphanage. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Hmm, she likes the orphanage, so maybe this is something to influence her, I'm not sure. Amber. Amber. Good, one to go. So good so far, uh, so far so good. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. P.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Okay, she has still contacts with some someone outside. And she was here before Sarah. That is strange. She arrived with us. But Sarah, our mother, went missing before we arrived. So how does she... Why has she been here before? The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's one way to do it. <laughs> like, this is. Imagine this as the ancient Instagram. <laughs> they have paintings of yourself. Grammar of Paul Real. Ah, the artistry of the French language in all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least une partie of it. Yeah, the French part. <laughs> but that you must master quite well, so. Oh, Emily. Hello. I'll just pick some stuff from you. Don't worry. Just stand there. I will come and question you later. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Uh, Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Yeah, like the Prime Minister is asking her for a favor towards the Queen. Then you know what her connections are to the English crown. And we have the amber. No, glitter coin. Damn it. Duchess, you can inform King George of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with financing the recruitment of regiment, regiments of um, emigrant royalists to fight against France. Your friend, His Eminence Giuseppe Piagini. So the Holy the church is financing England to fight France. Okay. There are some connections going on. Two coils circle the lock. 
Okay, I can't unlock. It's only two worth, so I use this one. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right. I've retrieved everything. <sighs> is it possible that she left and returned? Yeah, I was thinking about that she maybe only played that she came with us. Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there from what I can tell. So that actually she was here before. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Whoa. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Okay, this is the way she got to know her husband, the Duke. Everything is staged. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Oh yes, and we will use that on her maybe. Let's see. Let's see what we can find out. Emily, my friend. Let me check what you are against or up to, uh, Emily. Immune against logic, immune against questioning, weakness, psychology. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? Mm -hmm. I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Hmm. Make her speak about the night of the murderer. Since your arrival, did you notice anything strange about Elizabeth? Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. You're right. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I went to see him during the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. Oh. That gives Washington an alibi. <laughs> Okay, uh, but why is she off the list? 
actually in the beginning she knew quite a lot like around the murder and so on so is she really off the list um, or a staged crime of passion maybe yeah because she was suspecting quite a lot in the beginning and now she says for herself that she's off the list I'm not sure about that I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? Oh, yes. Don't take it the wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You... you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. Uh, she didn't tell us where she was. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Hmm. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. I am not convinced. I am not really convinced. She only told us that she was with a Washington nothing else not what they did not where they were it's a little bit too suspicious so emily might still be on the list question mark so to say <laughs> so here is duke manuel godoy uh i can enter all the rooms all the rooms not uh, so, he's definitely suspicious, because I can't enter his room. Mr. Godoy, why have you locked your room? So, we end up at the next door. Somewhere here is our room. Huh, that's me. Hmm. I can't even enter my room. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Piaggi. I also can't enter Piaggi's room. You can enter all the guest rooms. I have informed them and they said yes. Mm hmm So far, so not so good, Monsieur Mortimer. This door doesn't open at all. Great. So. Oh, oh there was nothing. President George Washington. Okay, then let's talk to George Washington. At least he said that he was with... Uh, Emily said that she was with him. A map of Massachusetts. Does Mo uh, Washington come from Massachusetts? Inspectors General, good. A map of Vermont. Okay, these are just... States. I like his room. It's brighter than all the others so far. And there are no strange murdering scenes or anything. Just clean. A map of Connecticut. If he has all the states here. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Decipher the letter. I can't. I need politics for that. Damn it. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young. But rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Hmm. 
Yeah, the country was young at his times, that's for sure. George boy, review you or take uh, talk later. First, I need to check out your bedroom. Need to sniff every corner. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. I already had that. So. Portrait of George Washington. A portrait of himself. Okay, why not? Why not? Also with him, I can't go to the balcony. Jelly. Jelly is always welcome. I need that a lot. Nothing here, nothing there. Also nothing here. So, Georgie boy, let's talk. Greetings, Liam. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Mm hmm. First, I need to check out your immunities. Uh, here. Washington. Oh. I'm not... He has only one trait. So maybe it's time for a thorn. Okay, that's cheap. Are you alright, Mr. President? Are you feeling alright? Oh, don't worry. It's this rotten toothache. What do you expect? I'm no spring chicken now. Spring chicken was the same wording as he used on his mother. Had he spoken to her? Tell me, Mr. President. Had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry, but that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened, and I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countrymen or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. Why invite her now then? It would appear that she wasn't invited to the conference. That doesn't surprise me. The poor girl was in no way concerned by our business and she had no political clout. So I don't understand why Sir Gregory invited her during the conference of his good friend Lord Mortimer. He must have realized that he wouldn't have much time to grant her. Preparing a conference does not seem an easy task. On the evening of our arrival, Lord Mortimer didn't even welcome us, what with his being so busy and all. Yes, you're right, Louis. I didn't think of that. It is indeed rather surprising. The easiest thing to do is simply ask him, you know. Of course. If I find him somewhere... Uh, okay, that we have... And that we have to... I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, I don't really think that he is suspicious. Oh, that's George. I thought it. he was a Hesland has, has by the window. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. He is actually a human. So much for my detective skills. <laughs> You can try. <laughs> A headstand, Sarah Please. You can't disgrace the President of the United States as a headstand. How dare you? Oh! There he is, our friend. Okay, give me your treats. Uh, where are you? 
Where are you, William, Sarah, John, Christoph, Volnor? He is vulnerable against diffusion. Good day, Monsieur de Richer. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Nothing special. Uh, insinuate that he looks dodgy. Speak about a little bit of death. What is he doing in the corner, a corridor? Don't tell him anything for the time being. Has anyone told you that Elizabeth was killed last night? I... Yes. Uh, Rumors spread quickly. Huh. He looks very put out. It's... Uh, it's horrible. Uh, how did it happen? I can say nothing to you, sir. You'd better follow your host's instructions and stay in your quarters. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. Hey, wait. Damn it. Okay, I have to go to his room then. Let's see the murder place. Okay, there's no blood, not, nothing at all. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 Has uh, finished with this room. Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has sir uh, finished with this room? No, I haven't gone over everything yet. Uh, sir may take his time. When sir would like to leave, sir has only to tell me. Okay, sir. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Okay, this is already near, known to us because we have been here in this room, but we need to check this out again. The clock stopped at 3.54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. I know the down. 3.54. Okay. Good. Huh, the talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. I can't exactly say it brought her good luck. Doesn't help at all now. Huh. Huh? No. The talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. I can't <sighs> exactly say it brought her good luck. Doesn't help at all. A pentagram. What the hell's been going on here? Okay, like, this time you see it, the last time it was there as well, and it didn't do anything about it. X minus the symbols. What's the connection with Elizabeth's death? Contrary to what most people believe, a pentagram's not there to conjure up, I don't know, what evil or demonic creature. With the point toward the top, the pentagram is an ancient symbol of protection against evil. I wonder if Elizabeth's death has anything at all to do with this pentagram. If a ritual went wrong and degenerated, Elizabeth would probably have been killed in the center of the pentagram, not three meters from here. That's strange. Hmm, that's really, really a little bit strange. Nice that we found out the vulnerability of her. Since she's now dead, we can't use it. Notebook. 
written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. Hmm. Education is not unlocked and linguistics is not unlocked. Damn it. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. I still think that her sister doesn't exist. Ah, the pistol. Fourth one apart. A pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. Examine the firearm, observe the grip, check inside the barrel. A tribute engraved on the barrel to the liberators of France. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Right. I shall have to find its owner. It's bought apart. And why so? The thing with the sister? Uh, because um, in all the documents which we found and the dialogues, we only get to know about um, his, her father and her brother. Her father is John Adams, the vice president of the United States. And so in all the characters only refer to her brother and her father. And sometimes, I guess at one point also her mother, but never to her sister. And then comes the case that uh, at least she herself was saying that um, my mother, or our mother, Sarah, tortured her when she was a child and so on. And she's psychology unstable and there were references that she has uh, psychology problems. And now there is um, a letter, uh, the only positive letter uh, and positive information she has to her family, to a sister. And no one ever talked about her sister. So I think that the sister is not real. And also, if you pay an eye to the um, to some hints in the texts and so on, I think this is a mental condition that she is imagining a sister. 30 November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. And also these, these uh, constant reminders that they cannot meet, like this one. So if you are the same person, you will never meet. Piece of fabric, high quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. Emily? The color doesn't correspond to Emily's black outfits, and Elizabeth doesn't have anything quite like this in her wardrobe. Let's take a closer look. It's a little dirty. It must come from the bottom of the dress where it touches the ground. I recognize that moiré pattern. It's the same as the travel dress my mother was wearing when she left. But why the hell did she come into this room? So is it a real trace to our mother or is it just a staged trace? Okay, nothing here. The pentagram we already checked out. Vials of laudanum. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Could be. He knows her father. 
And we don't have the skill. Science, we are just learning it right now. Damn it. We learned it too late. Okay, here are some, some hotspots. The knife. The blade, the handle, the stand, analyze the knife. The handprint on the handle is really small. I can't imagine a man with a hand that size. It must be from a woman's hand. Okay, good to know. So a woman is the suspect. Poor girl bled to death. Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. So a woman's hand, but large footsteps. That's strange. Knocked over bottle of wine. <coughs> Same thing Elizabeth served me last night. Still just as disgusting. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. Okay, I don't know why. Ah, uh, maybe because of the memory I got a bad uh, state. But I just took a golden elixir. Now it's gone. So let's see if her body gives us any hints. So we have maybe still a man or a woman as the murderer. Or two people. Maybe there were two people involved. Could be. Okay, we can examine different things. Let's start with the arm. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. And there are also a number of old scars. And this is where I don't believe um, Napoleon. People who scar themselves in this way generally do so to relieve some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self-control. So, she had some serious issues, for sure. Scarring, ugh. Scarring isn't very regular, but they're mostly from old cuts. She had the Sigillum de Amoth tattooed on her. The symbol of the living God. Written in the language of angels, according to believers. It is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age. Unless her mother was a tutor. Hmm. Or his mother. Tattoos we have. Scars we have. Okay, let's check out the body. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth. She, she must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. And she she also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. Elizabeth told us that our mother did the old tortures. I'm not still sure if this is really true, but at least she told us and she was sure about it. She bled from the nose. There are signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces oh. of bruising. Black screen, give me a second. Oh, yeah, great. There was a window moving in front. Nice. I will do that again. If I can. There are signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. Okay, nothing special. We already observed the nose. Okay. So, then the mouth. What a strange smell. Blood and the liquor. Can't really use that st shit. So back to the body. Could it be possible that the sister is made up by someone else to sow mistrust uh, towards M Elizabeth's family? The letter from her sister said something about some sort of side effects from a treatment. She has been strangled too or poisoned. 
so she's drinking this strange liquor she was also offering to us last night when we were in her room before she died. I still think that the sister is made up, yes, but not by someone else, but from her. That she's making up her sister. But I'm not that sure yet. So we had the arm, we had the body or I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. It looks as though the wounds were inflicted from a precise angle. As if... As if the murderer was standing behind Elizabeth. So there were two people. One was... Um, catching her her attention and the other one killed her from behind. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood. If the scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. What? That's kind of crazy. This we had off. Some of these tattoos yeah, are okay. veritable works of. What's that? Can I stop that? No. Oh. The skin between her Gr breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was That's drawn on a crazy. piece of leather and someone stitched onto stitched her skin. Stitched leather to her skin with a tattoo on it. The scars are anything to go by. What the hell? Why it's should someone do the that? The same kind of tattoo is on the rest of her body. What is that purpose? Okay, we have head, upper body. I count no fewer than oh, we'd had nine that. wounds Damn on it. the thorax with a lot of blood. Okay, mark what we had. First sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. Yep, we know that. So, return to the body. So, we had arm, head, upper, some on the hands. Okay. No wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. This pinnacle's a trap. The wearers of the pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil by surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. No marks or bruising around the wrists. It doesn't look like she was tied up or held by force. Blood, but no trace of blows on the legs. The direction the blood streaks caused by the wounds to the thorax show that she was standing when she lost blood. This proves that she was standing when she was assassinated. Possibly held by someone or something. More tattoos, similar to those on the rest of her body. So now we had everything. Okay, I have two possibilities in mind. Either way, you have been two people, a man and a woman. A woman because of the um, fingerprints on the knife and a man because of the footprints. But actually I have another theory which thinks, seems to be more plausible that she stabbed herself. Either way, intentionally or a strong man killed her, like grabbed her hand and her hand hold the, uh, was holding the knife and then he was forcefully moving the knife to kill her. Alright, I've retrieved everything. Okay, so we have a man in suspicion. Has Sam uh, finished with this room? I know enough now, thank you. Very well, sir. So I may return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. Then we will do so. Okay. We have to find a man. A strong man who could kill her. Maybe it's... It really goes... The trace is really linked to... Uh, to... Um, Peru. But I don't think he is it. Who could it be? We will find out maybe in the next episode of The Council... And this will be for all YouTubers uh, today's.
but for all Twitch people, you can see it still now. So YouTube, we make you a small episode break. Twitch, we go on for another round. So YouTube, don't lose your head. <laughs>